everybody, you ready to make some scones? We're making blueberry and orange scones. Now, I'm going to do it in my stand mixer, but you don't have to. You can do it by hand. Okay, we are going to sift in um, two cups of all-purpose flour, a tablespoon of baking powder, a t half a teaspoon of salt, and a half a cup of sugar. So, I just got it in my little sifter, and we're just going to sift it. Now you can do whole wheat flour if you want to. That's why we sift. You've got all them bits that don't need to be in there. Okay. Now we're going to take, we have got a half a, half a cup, which is a stick, of really cold butter cut into little cubes. We're going to put our flour in. And then make sure it's plugged in. We're going to bring up this. And we're just going to form it with them little pieces of butter that's cold into like coarse crumbs, like sand. You could do this by hand with a pastry blender or two forks. And you don't want to put your big mixer on, you know, a higher power because you'll have that flour going everywhere. So give it a minute to work in to little crumbs. going to do is we are going to add some orange zest. I want a good amount of orange zest in, so about a tablespoon or more. Or we might do the whole orange. I don't know yet. I want a good amount of orange taste to them, like in the background. Any questions yet? Someone wants to know <clears throat> if you've ever added lemon zest. Yeah, you can do soap out and do lemon zest. That's a good option too. Someone wants to know what your favorite kitchen appliance is. When I got my kitchen egg mixer, because I have a hard time kneading with my hands, so I like what because it kneads and uh, brings the dough together for you. You've received several compliments about the sifter. People really enjoy seeing that sifter. My vintage sifter, yeah. Yep. Yeah. 
got our orange zest in there. Almost did. There's little places on the orange that I didn't get. But it's almost the whole orange. A egg. And then we're going to turn this on. And then we're going to strain in a half a cup of heavy whipping cream. It might take a little bit more. You just never know what your dough is going to need for it coming together. <coughs> So what I'm going to do is just cut out the orange and squeeze in a little bit of orange juice. Maybe a tablespoon. Just till it comes together. So well, that was a half of an orange juice. Squeeze. Now what we're going to do is let me get my blueberries. going to do is take off our dough and take off our little beater thing so we don't need it no more. So I'm going to fold in the blueberries because I don't want to mash them. And then you need a cup of blueberries. Or more. It's, it just depends. Someone asks what your favorite kind of orange is. Um, I like navels. I think I'm gonna just gonna do it by hand. Navel oranges. I like the um oh I tried last year I tried um when they came out and they were in season, the Cara Cara oranges, the real dark. And it's okay if you bust a couple. We're just trying to get these in there. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put a little bit of flour not my board. Just a little bit. Someone asks what you like better, baking or cooking? I like both. And then I want to sprinkle a little bit on top too. Some flour. I'm just going to kind of press it into press it into like a rough rough disc because I want them to be real rustic looking You're welcome, Barbara. Someone asks what age you were when you began cooking. Oh, um, little. <laughs> I used to drag a chair over um, while my mama was baking and cooking and watch her. And she'd let me do some things. Maybe you'd do the sifter and stuff like that. Okay, let me spray a cookie sheet. Let me get my spray, baby. Sorry. I 
spray the cookie sheet. I guess it might have enough butter in it. You might not have to. Okay. Now, I put it in a circle because I like how to do the scones. I'm going to take mine off and go down and make it in half. Then cut each half into half. Then cut the half into a half. If you understand what I'm saying. <clears throat> and then we're just going to take them over and then put it on the cookie sheet. It's alright if bits come off, just press it back into it. Cream in our little thing, and then we're going to brush on the heavy whipping cream over the top. You could do butter if you want to, but I like the shine that the heavy whipping cream gives it. And then we're going to sprinkle sugar over top. You actually don't have to cut these in triangles. You could do it in a rectangle and then you cut it into squares. Or you can do a little round cookie cutter, like your biscuit cutter. <clears throat> Just want to make sure they all go like that. Let me get my sugar. <clears throat> baking the real big pieces of sugar like the I think it's called terranato sugar that's usually what bakeries do the real crystal off this is just regular sugar that's all I have I don't have none of that that they use for bakeries and pastries and stuff so we're just going to sprinkle the top with a little bit of sugar and it gives it like that little crust like you get in bakeries. Okay, now we're going to a 400 degree oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. Again, I will come back when they're done because that gives me a chance to clean up my big mess. And then we'll also make a smoothie later, too. So come back for part two. Come on back, everybody.